That was my experience when I tried to play X Cloud on Raspberry Pi. No, I didn't cut the, cut the video. That's what really happened. Um, and besides that, sometimes the controls was insanely fine. And depending how much you move the camera or the, the stream, look at that. I stop it. You see? And I found a way to solve this issue. And basically, it's installing an Android version of Raspberry Pi. I tried this first version and the second one. I decided to use the second one um, because it's compatible with my uh, internet. But sadly, um, the open Google applications, which is uh, also contains the uh, Google Play Store, it's not available for this version yet. But uh, I will teach you how you can install the APK. Uh, first of all, you must download the uh, image version here. Just click on download and select uh, some mirror to download the file. In my case, I don't need it because I already downloaded it and I also already recorded it. Um, as you can see, it's, I already uh, finished recording to my uh, SD card and it's fine. Uh, you can also use it uh, use your Windows. I will leave some link on the description. Um, I also recommend you to expand the 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 list partition to so that you you'll be able to use the entire uh, disk space if you need. Uh, and just I use this uh, Gpart application to resize the partition, and this process is quite fast. So why not, right? Yeah. And you must install the SD card on your Raspberry Pi. And um, install the Ethernet cable. You must use a gamepad, so it's already connected here and the cable to be faster. Uh, I also need a mouse and keyboard to do the first uh, configuration. And before installing the, the power supply, don't forget to connect the monitor to your Raspberry Pi first. Once you do it, you can just boot and you see the startup of the Android. Once it finished, you have some logo like this. This is the Raspberry Pi version, the Android version that we installed. Um, you must move, <coughs> move the screen here. To the uh, to the right, you have the access to the settings. You must go down to the system uh, advanced settings. You must select uh, what's your audio device to put. In my case, I'm using HDMI. The HDMI zero. I also try to use the hardware video acceleration uh, decoding, but it does not working. You have a black screen and you have to restart your Raspberry Pi. Um, another thing that you can do here is uh, you can check here the internet. Uh, you see that uh, you have the uh, internet uh, available via cable. And you, if you want, it's optional, you can also enable the dark mode here, but it's not required. Once you do that, you must go to this uh, page, which I will leave the link in the description. It's a page that uh, allows you to install APK, it's a kind of mirror for the Google Store. Click on this link, you see that uh, you must install the latest version. See how available. You must install the this version V7, Army V7. Okay, this is very important. Download. You have a link here, 
download the APK, download the APK, then move here this uh, part to the left side of the menu the, the, to the top. You have the downloads. You must click on the APK, uh, install. Maybe to request you to enable the unknown sources, you must allow it because you are not downloading it straight from the uh, Google Store. So you it, you must enable it. Once installed, you can open. Uh, you will receive some message saying that okay, uh, Google Store is required to make this application work, but it's not true. Uh, you receive this message like three or two, four times. When you start up the application, just ignore it and click OK. Um, you must sign up for for game for, for to play the game. After signing up, you have the you must wait a little bit because you download all the library icons and things like that. All the information of Raspberry Pi. Once uh, you must click on Cloud here, and then you can play using the, uh, the gamepad. Uh, you receive this message the first time you run, uh, saying that you are in full screen. Uh, if your gamepad does not answer, just disconnect and connect again, okay? It will automatically detect. Um, when I was playing with it, I didn't see this huge frame drop as you could see in the first video. First video I tried the uh, native uh, uh, Linux with a browser, and but here I'm using uh, Android and uh, uh, the Android application. And you see that is uh, is, a, is way better. To disconnect, you just must go move the mouse to the left, and you appear this menu, or you can click on this menu for uh, this uh, Xbox button. To leave the application, you can play other games as well, like Forza Horizon 5 that was recently launched. And, and you can see that you are playing a, a beautiful game in a, uh, in a Raspberry Pi via stream. You can see that you still have some delay. Can you see? It's like uh, 100 milliseconds, something like this. Probably after this uh, hardware decoder acceleration being implemented, it to reduce uh, the answer of uh, the commands as well. But you see, it's working very well, and that's it. Don't forget to subscribe my channel. Thank you very much, and bye.